mother f <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Oh my god. I thought I came I in just I a caught myself. I know, I don't know how I didn't just completely fall into the water. On oh god. Did you make that cast as you got hit? Yes, as I got hit. <laughs> I've never they have for me. Like yeah, let's get deep in this stuff. I want to get lost again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This looks this looks big fishy to me. Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one. Oh my god. Oh, I thought it was a shot. The way you hit it, yeah. It's a good one though. It is a good one. <laughs> First one in the morning. Nice three bar. Hit like an absolute freight train. He's ready. As you can see, we've we've scrapped the Arapaima mission. That's okay though. Eventually we will catch one, just not this trip. What we are gonna do is we're gonna take it easy today, chill with the homie Louie, and uh, we're gonna try to capitalize on some big peacocks. Today is the day that we go after double digit peacocks. Only big fish today. We're gonna catch a small fish, of course, but we're only trying to go after bigger fish and then throughout the day I just kind of want to take you guys along for the ride you know show you what this place is all about and maybe I'll take today's video and use this as an opportunity to uh, give you guys a tour through my eyes and through the camera lens but uh, that's the deal I think it's time that I pick the rod back up and uh, see if we can crank on some more big peacocks awesome stuff Just like right. Yo, oh, there you go. Little pea, first peacock of the day for me. Not a bad one. Whoa, look how cool this one looks. Poka. Looks like the Miami cheese, yeah. Even Louie knows now. But Poka. Does that look familiar? Yeah, it does. This is that. This is the ones that they have in Miami. I think this might be my first papoka, honestly, dude. Yeah, I'm not caught one that looks like this, look like this. Very cool fish. Thank you, little guy. Just, if you could, tell your bigger brothers to eat today. Scott and I need some Mondos. New spot. Look at this pack up, so we're packing up. Ah, oh, missed it. Frickin' nug. Gosh dang it. Gee willikers. Oh! Big fish, 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 big fish. I'm trying, I'm trying. That was insane. I don't know. There's no movement. Oh my god, that was intense. I don't see him kicking. This is not good. I don't. I just don't like. I don't see anything. No. I don't know. No, no, still there. It's not as big as I thought, but still, it's a good one. Oh, good fish though. Speckled? There's my biggest fish today. Let's see how much he weighs. What do you think? No oh, way. Six. 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 All right, Six. Nice speckled pea. Chill, chill, chill. Take care. Uh oh. There you go. <laughs> that was not a very graceful release. Gotta love that. Nice. Little 360 yeah. Did the little spin and then he was off. Good stuff. No way. Oh, 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 oh. Chase. Get chase. Ah, double. Arwana. Arwana. <laughs> That's my, what, third or fourth of the trip? Arwana. Okay, okay. All right. Well, they're in the boat. He's in the boat. Hey, buddy. How are you doing, the Arwana? There you go. Nice little Arwana. I think it's my fourth of the trip. These guys are so cool. Oh, big Arwana! Arwana. Big Arwana. Arwana, big Arwana! Big Arwana! Oh, he came off! No! Uh, no, it's a big Arwana! That thing was huge! Oh my god, that was a massive Arwana! Holy sh that was like five pounds all day! Scott and I stumbled upon a little school of black Arwana and peacock bass. They're really thick over here, they're really aggressive too. They just like chase the bait all the way to the boat. I think I might switch to uh, yeah, you got one on you. I think I might switch to hair jig here in a bit. They're just not really like committing to the top water. They'll, they'll like nip it, but kind of like I'm having to force them to eat this. Um, also, I mentioned the bees are trying to climb in my pants right now. They're all over the place. Oh, they got teeth, dude. Yeah, they got some teeth. He definitely caught me a little bit. So cool. My first. 
I love when I swim away. Let me get that on, buddy. Ready? Yeah. Such a crazy fish. They're like little serpents, like little sea monsters. They just kind of... Very cool fish. I always bring up the camera for those guys because they're so unique and they remind me a lot of like a cross between an eel and a tarpon and what else does that look like? I don't know, they just look so freaking awesome. Anyway, that's Scott's first arowana I've caught for this trip. Definitely suggest if any of you guys ever go to the Amazon, don't just focus on one species, whether it be peacocks or catfish, diversify, go after everything, knock everything off your list and catch as much as possible because that's what we've been doing this trip. Try to dabble in a little bit of everything this river has to offer. That's sweet though, eh? Ooh. Time for some agua, it's getting hot out here. Wow, that was freaking awesome. There we go. Food! This is our, this is our lunch, I can't mess this up. Yes! <laughs> lunch. One more? One more. So we can't go to the Amazon and not try some peacock. So we are gonna keep this little guy. He's not gonna go to waste. Popoca? Yeah. I hope you taste good, Popoca. <laughs> Always thank the fish before you eat it. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Louie. Okay, Scott, your turn to catch one. Can I catch one more so that both Scott and I can have some, some good lunch, some shore lunch, Amazon Brazilian style. I'm looking forward to this. I've heard peacock taste really good. There we go, yes. peacock. There's your, there's your steak right there. Yeah. Oh, in the Whoa. boat. Just barely in the boat. So right here is our 27th fish of the day and our second peacock for our little catch and cook that we're gonna do. You ready? Let's do it. Let's cook some peacocks. This is the moment of truth. Scott and I are gonna have our first official taste of peacock bass. Yesterday when we were Arapaima hunting, we had a little tiny piece that uh, some of our guides cooked up that was like actually smoked. It was so good, but what? Push. Bye, Louis. He just leaves us. <laughs> he just leaves us on the island. So I don't necessarily know how Louis is going to do this, but he's going to teach us. He's going to show us so we can learn how to cook peacock bass for ourselves. I've heard they're just so freaking tasty, which I'm looking forward to trying. Oh, there he is. I said I wanted to do it so badly, and here it is. All we're waiting for Louie to get some firewood for our, uh, our little peacock snacky. I caught one on the fly. Epic stuff. Just chomp that little klaus here too. Nice little butterfly, right? Yeah. Back you go. Tell your bigger buddies to eat this afternoon. Right on, dude. Nice. <laughs> firewood? Oh yeah, lots of firewood. Oh, this is interesting. So you put the fish on there, uh -huh. then grill over it. Yes. Very cool. Lou's using his paddle as a cutting board, and then he's taking the flays from the peacocks and throwing them on like this. Um, like a little, what'd you call that? Like a grill? It doesn't even have a name. What is it? Like a it's like a fillet holder. It, it holds the fillets, then he's gonna put that over the fire cook it slowly and then we eat it, but it's just, I can't wait. This meat looks really, really good. It's so fresh, there's nothing as fresh as this. Catching the fish and then moments later, hopping on a beach and cooking it up. Nothing beats that. Oh. What is that? I'm just, it's right here, I got uh. it. Imagine that, like we get all this stuff prepped up, we get the peacock and I just forgot the lighter. <laughs> that would, we're good to go. I think we're cooking literally with gasoline. In there, just mm -hmm. right in there. Right in.
Louis, how long do you cook for? Like 10 minutes, 10, 15, five? Five minutes and then it's done. That's quick. This is the setup in case you're wondering. He takes a little bit of gasoline, lights it on fire, puts some sticks over the gasoline in which he just lit, then four sticks in a rectangular shape and uh, takes that little metal thing and puts the fish in between, or the fish is in between the metal thing. It's really straightforward. Stick there, stick there, stick there, stick there. These two, or these four sticks have kind of a notch in them so he can put longer sticks across and that allows him to put that metal thing over it. Which in turn cooks the peacock backs. Not the peacocks, but the peacock backs. Hey, did I mention how hot it is here too? It's freaking, I'm so hot. Here's the moment of truth. I th you take that one, take this one. You don't want any? No, please. Please, please, please. What? Yeah, I know. Chef has to eat. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So oh. good. Very mild. Mm -hmm. It tastes mm. like, um, would you say it tastes like grouper? Like a mild yeah. grouper? Yeah. Like that. It's really good. It's very flaky. Mm. All white meat. Awesome. Go, go, go. Huge shout out to our chef, Louis. We just did the catching and eating. He's the mastermind behind the whole operation. Thank you. Big P right there. So now we're just gonna chill on the beach, hang tight, and then we're gonna get back on the water and catch some more fish. I thought you guys would enjoy that too. I've never done anything like that on my channel. It's kind of cool. I thought, why not do it here where there's a lot of peacock bass? It's not like a big deal if you take a few and harvest a few from the waters. Again, we leave nothing to waste too. Even the bits and pieces get used as well. But that fish is out of this world. Very, very good. It must rain a lot here, you know? It must. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good.